Hi and welcome to Philippa and Healing. Today we are going to explore one of the methods that made me start to feel a connection to myself as a woman again after going through pelvic floor dysfunctions and traumas and really challenging experiences. Maybe you wouldn't have guessed it, but it is belly dance. And I have always loved to dance. So for me, it was quite easy to tap into this type of method. But then also understanding more deeply around belly dance, the pelvic floor, femininity. There's so much more to it than we actually know and understand. And I'm going to let uh, the teacher, Jennifer Sobel, talk you through some bits and pieces of that. I also just, before that, I just want to mention that this method has actually been scientifically proven to reverse incontinence, which is amazing. And Jennifer has actually worked with women who attend her belly dance classes and they accidentally heal incontinence. So they go from having some form of incontinence to none, just by practicing belly dance, which is amazing. We're going to start with just listening to Jennifer and her perspective on belly dance and how it can really help you heal your pelvic floor. And then we are going to test and try it. And I wanted you guys to try a really simple version. So what we've actually done is that we have taken belly dance to the basics. And what you are going to try today is actually doing belly dance inspired moves on the floor. So you're going to be lying down, but you're still going to get exactly the same benefits as if you would stand up and do this dance. And the reason for this is I know many women who've been through pelvic floor dysfunctions and are still in them, it can be really challenging to, you know, to dance in front of a mirror and maybe, you know, really look at yourself. I wanted to give you an opportunity to more kind of tune into the movements on the floor where you're also not putting any pressure on the pelvic floor. But let's start with listening to Jennifer's perspective. So I wanted to sh share with you a little bit about the history of belly dance. And I think it will all make sense to you understanding it from this perspective. Now, first I wanna say that a lot of people consider the history of belly dance to be a controversial topic. And I think there's many different ways to approach it. I don't really even think that there's one answer or one fact. But one of the theories around the history of belly dance is that belly dance really originated as a fertility dance and a dance that helped women to prepare and recover from childbirth. And it makes perfect sense to me because so many of the movements the belly dance movements are movements that strengthen the pelvic floor as well as relax the pelvic floor to take out tension, not just from the pelvic floor, but from other muscles in the pelvic and hip area. So it's very important when we're strengthening muscles to both strengthen, to tone, and then relax. And belly dance does both of these things. So the theory is that part of the origin of belly dance was as a dance that had these movements that would strengthen the pelvic floor as well as relax muscles in the pelvis and hips. And there's a huge misconception and myth, popular misconception and myth about the origin of belly dance as a dance for men's entertainment. And I haven't seen any evidence that this is true. It's generally accepted and believed that belly dance was really a, a, a dance that women did with other women. 
whether it was for the purpose of uh, preparing and recovering from childbirth, um, something that was just sort of like a fun social dance that they would do together, but it was something that women would do with each other. And it was actually considered improper to do dances like this in front of men. So it wasn't really until the age of cinema that belly dance really became a thing of um, entertainment. And of course, when men saw it, <laughs> it became a source of entertainment for them, right? Yeah, this is, I would definitely have guessed before I knew more about it from Jennifer that, you know, it's it's like a sensual dance for men. But I, I, I'm just kind of mind blown that it's actually for women and like women's communities and to really move our bodies in a way that our bodies are meant to move. So I I love this. I don't do it. I have to be honest with you. I don't do it as often anymore. Anytime I find the space to do it, I love it. I enjoy it. I, I have actually bought a set, like a belly dance set with like a skirt and a top with lots of like glitter and paillettes. Is it called that in English? You know, any any move you do feels like you can do it a lot more <laughs> because everything is kind of dangling and it, it just, it, it's so much fun. And I am usually practicing belly dance with my kids and they love it too. Um, especially when I dress up like that, they want to dress up like that too. So yeah, without further ado, we are now going to try uh, the lying down version and I really hope you enjoy it. Um, take your time to get into this and if you like it you can start to practice belly dance every day and you don't have to do the like a full 10 minute belly dance which is like what you maybe should do every day to to get the results. You can split split it up so I can do belly dance sometimes when brushing my teeth or, um, you know, cooking dinner, waiting for my tea water to boil, anything, you know, any kind of moments you have in between, you just kind of wiggle your hips and it doesn't have to be perfect at all, just to feel that connection to your hips and pelvic floor and femininity is amazing. So... Let's go ahead and jump into the exercise. Laying down practice, I want to show you how to use these belly dance inspired movements and incorporate it into your life. And this is something that even if you only did it for a few minutes a day, I think you would still see a benefit from it. You know, in general, in life, we tend to see things in an all or nothing approach, and it's not like that. So if, you know, you wake up in the morning or before you're going to go to bed, this could be a moment where you um, practice awareness of this part of your body, practice doing a little bit of the movement, um, Maybe you have a yoga practice, you can incorporate it into that. Um, but we use a lot of these movements in belly dance. So even though it seems like we're just doing something here on the mat, this will help you do the belly dance movements as well. So it is very practical. So what I want you to do is just start by laying down. And first, I want you to just get an awareness of your body and your pelvis. So if you can just, and I'll guide you through it, you can peek at me if you need to, but feel free to close your eyes and just put your hands on your pelvis. So put your hands on your lower abs, below your belly button, and think about that area like a triangle. So you could actually create a triangle shape with your hands, with the point of the triangle being the top of your pubic bone. And I want you to just take a few breaths and just 
become aware of this part of your body. You know, it's, it's not often that we really are aware, even aware of this part of our body. So just breathing in, breathing out. And just kind of feel that area, feel those muscles. Just try to imagine, even though they're hard and you can't really feel them right now, just try to imagine the muscles that are at the very bottom of your pelvis. The pelvic floor is like a net at the bottom of your pelvis. So just imagine that, just imagine it in your mind's eye. So this awareness piece is, is a very important part of it, as well as visualizing the muscles that are actually there. And I encourage you to just do a Google search and actually look at the musculature of the pelvic floor will help you to just have a visualization and imagination about it. Now you can go ahead and open your eyes and I want you to bring your feet up so your knees are bent and we're gonna do a pelvic tuck and drop. And this is a very common movement that we do in belly dance. And it's a really great movement for activating the pelvic floor. And we use it in other movements as well. But this pelvic tuck and drop is the building block, the foundation of a lot of different belly dance movements. So to get the feeling of this pelvic tuck and drop, it, has, it is actually really helpful to do this first on the ground because you have the ground supporting you and you can really get a better feeling and idea of how your pelvis moves forward and back. So when it drops forward, my back will go into more of a natural arch. I'm not overarching, but I just feel like more of a release that creates a very gentle arch. So that's the release of the pelvis coming forward. So if you put your index and middle finger, fingers on the front of your pelvis, you feel the pelvis fall forward, the back just sort of naturally arches. So that's just more of a gentle release and then I tuck, I use my muscles of my pelvic floor and my lower abs to pull my pelvis up. Then I feel my back flatten against the ground. I feel more pressure, more contact against the ground. So that's the stronger contraction, the contraction of the pelvic floor and musculature. And if you picture a point right here, that point is coming towards your body. It's coming towards your face from that contraction. Then I release and I contract. So this is a pelvic drop and a pelvic tuck. One thing that's important is you wanna keep your glutes really relaxed. So don't use your glute contraction to tilt your pelvic pelvis up. Keep that loose as much as possible. You can even put your hands on your tush. And try to keep that really relaxed. And also play around with imagining that you're actually contracting from the very bottom of your body. That's where your pelvic floor is. You're pulling from the very, very bottom. You're pulling in. And I feel an activation from the very bottom and also from here in my lower abs. And it might actually help you too if you put your finger right here and just feel a little bit of an activation in that area. So pelvic drop, pelvic tuck, drop, tuck. Keeping this loose, tuck, drop, tuck, drop, tuck. And you'll see how this all comes together really when we start standing, but it's the same movement. This is a really great exercise to do is to practice this on the ground. So this is the pelvic tuck and drop. If you want to play around with this side to side movement as like a bonus, you can kind of play around with that. 
I'm just contracting here in my obliques so that my hips contract into my body like this. So here you can really play around with making a circle with your pelvis. And I want you to really get into a spirit of play and exploration, not about getting it right, but just playing around with how your pelvis moves and feel it move into a circle. I go to the side, I release back, I go to the side and I tuck. Side, release, side, tuck. And then I just side, release, side, tuck. Side, release, side, tuck. Side, release, side, tuck. And it's always a good idea to practice if you're doing these circles to go in one direction and then practice going in the other direction too. Just try to create a little circle here with your pelvis. Then the other exercise I wanna show you is actually rolling up and rolling down. And when we do this, this actually becomes an undulation in belly dance. Another great movement for doing this pelvic tuck and drop as well as activating and strengthening the pelvic floor. So with this, we're gonna start with the tuck. So we tuck, that pelvis comes up, and then we're gonna roll up and we're gonna lift our back up off the ground, vertebra by, by vertebra. And then once we're here at the top, we're gonna to come down vertebra by vertebra. So I'm gonna come down first in my neck and my upper back, and now here I'm really tucking the pelvis here. I'm tucking, tucking to roll down very slowly until my whole lower back and pelvis is on the ground. And then I'm gonna reverse it again, starting with the tuck. So I tuck the pelvis, tuck, pulling that pelvic bone up towards my head. I tuck in and then I lift off the ground my back vertebra by vertebra, starting with the low back, the middle back, and then the upper back, and everything is off the ground except for my head and neck. And now I'm gonna reverse it. I'm gonna start with my upper back, vertebra by vertebra, as I tuck my pelvis under. Here you can use your glutes, and it's actually a really great glute strengthening exercise. And I'm gonna roll down, vertebra by, by vertebra, <laughs> it's really hard to say until I'm all the way down. And then I'm gonna reverse it again. Let's just do that again. We're starting with the tuck. So I tuck, I lift up my sacrum, my lower back, very slowly roll up everything. I am squeezing my glutes here. I'm up at the top and then I'm gonna reverse it. I tuck, so I'm tilting my pelvis here. I'm upper back vertebra by vertebra, middle back. I really feel this in my legs here. Lower back, really strongly tucking the pelvis here, contracting the pelvic floor, lower abs, and then I'm all the way down. And again, tucking, pulling in here. I'm tucking the pelvis, lower back, upper back. I'm here all the way at the top. Now I'm gonna roll down upper back, I'm really using my abs here, middle back, tucking, strong tuck here, pelvic floor, lower abs, and then put it down. This is a really, really, you're gonna feel so many muscles here, your legs, your glutes, and focus, especially on what's happening in your pelvis, tucking the pelvis when you roll up, and then keeping that tuck at the very bottom as you roll down. So you tuck, that initiates the roll up. You keep it kind of stable here, and then when you get down to the bottom, you're really getting that strong. You see how I'm tucking here, tuck on the way down. So we did three different practices here. First, we started with breathing and awareness into the lower abs and the pelvic floor. Then we brought our knees into this bent position. We did just the pelvic tuck and drop. 
So we're really getting this feeling of the pelvis tilting forward and back and initiating that movement from the pelvic floor and the lower abs. And then we did a roll up where we used that tuck and drop into an undulation basically on the ground and really working our entire back as well as our legs and our glutes in that exercise. So this is a great practice. If you only did this for five minutes a day, I think you would really notice an improvement, not only in the awareness of your pelvic floor, but the strength as well. Thank <laughs> you.